Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to create or actually add the uh, cast function to our button so during the runtime we're going to be able to start clicking our spell just like this. And they all have different entities and cooldowns. Uh, they're pretty much all different uh, in their own way. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and open player combat. What we have to do this episode is simply add the uh, cast function from the spell to the button itself, but it's a little bit complicated, and you'll understand why in a second. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take off this um, input code here. So we're not using any kind of inputs now, we're not using the left mouse button to, to attack, we're not going to be using any inputs at all right now. All we're going to do is add a function of whenever we click that button, it casts our spell. So now we have a click only um, spell bar. Okay, well, not yet, but we will at the end of this video. We are going to go down here in Add Spell, and we're going to bind the unclick event of that button to something else, to the cast function. So the way we do this, and make sure you don't make any mistake in that, we have to say, well, first get the button, so spell that spell button, dot unclick, which is the uh, unclick event, and then we're going to add a listener, so add listener, and now we have to shoot, in that function, we have to shoot the Unity Engine event Unity Action call. Now to do this, we have to use something we called a Lambda. So we open the bracket, just like this. And now we do equal. And this is the bigger than sign. And then we do spell.cast. Just like this. This is a really weird function call, but this is what we're going to be using for this thing. And the reason we're using this is quite simple. We don't have the button right here. So since we don't have that button, we cannot manually set it to a spell. Same thing for our prefab. The onclick function is here. We can do had, but it's going to be different for every single button. We don't want every single button to be casting auto attack or melee auto attack. So we have to do it uh, during the runtime using this line of code. Okay. Let's hit save on this and go see if it works in game. So now we remove the input when I left click pretty much anywhere, doesn't do anything. Now I'm going to go click my button and as you can see it works. So that's our 0.5 second cooldown and just for the sake of uh, testing this out again I'll go back in the, where's it at, the melee attack spell. I'll make this 2 seconds or 2.5 and now we go back here we press start and as you can tell, 2.5 seconds, this is our melee auto attack spell. And then what we are going to do, just to show that uh, every single spell is his own entity, we are going to duplicate this, say, uh, five times. So it's going to fill our action bar. Now we press play, and we have five different buttons, and all those buttons interact independently. So if we, if we click on this one, it's going to cast a auto attack. Now this one, same thing, and they all have their different uh, and separate cooldown. So let's test this out. We're actually going to spawn some enemies, and I am going to click on two buttons when they come close so we can quickly kill them. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and here we go. So we have five different instances of auto attack. Good. So now the next thing we're going to be doing in a future episode is we're going to remove these and create some new spells. So maybe a charge spell, maybe a long range um, AOE spell. So we're pretty much going to have fun with that. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you learned something or if this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Also subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.